Be careful, it's going to be a long one. Hello fellow vapors, Vaping Newbie here, and uh, we're going to be looking at a couple of uh, well, a device in an RDA, and the reason being for all this is my next step. Uh, disregard the messy bed in back of me. My girlfriend hates the fact that you can see it, but hey, <laughs> I don't make the bed. I'm sure it's going to be laying in it. Anyhow, uh, it came to a point in my vaping journey that I thought, what's next? And I kept seeing the word squonk. I kept seeing it everywhere. I spoke to some people, my buddy Thomas in, on Facebook, some people in, in forums. I don't go on Facebook a hell of a lot anymore, but um, I thought I'll throw the question out, see what we got. Thomas has been swanking for a while, and uh, I thought besides the strange name, I wanted to know what's it about. And uh, so to me, to me, uh, it combines a couple of things. But before we get to that, before we get to that, have a look at the two devices and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so part one of this video, which is a, actually a two-parter or maybe even a three-parter, is um, the Vape Fogan designed Bonza RDA by um, Vandy Vape. Now, in his own video based on this before it was even released, he did mention that he took the best of several RDAs combine them to make what he thought was a great RDA. So we're going to see how that is. Uh, this is the top of the box. It's a plastic um, sort of, I don't know, milled box. Uh, on the back, there's just some information regarding it. And then uh, here at this area here, it's just what's included. Um, when you open it up, it's got a molded plastic interior. And it gets kind of tight, but you have the RDA, and uh, it's got that 810 um, drip tip. Uh, it has dual airflow, so you'll see here, uh, and this is very curious, that airflow is wide open and this airflow is closed, which uh, leads me to believe that you can use a single uh, coil build as well as a dual coil build. It has a gold plating on the back, and then um, you'll see a regular 510 connection, and that's gonna play in a bit later and what we're gonna be using this for it is numbered um, on the bottom, but I don't pay much attention to that. And then it has Vape Bogan's signature. We're going to be taking a look at the build deck a bit later. What else do you get with it? Well, you lift up this molded plastic interior. You do get a, uh, a pamphlet, uh, which helps you, gives you an idea on how to build it, uh, how it works, what each piece entails. It's all in there. It's actually quite detailed, so that, that's a good thing. And then you get this baggie of goodies. It's got some spare O-rings. It has a drip tip uh, adapter. So you can use this to put in a 510 drip tip. And something I haven't gotten in a long time with something I bought, um, a blue handle screwdriver. We're going to need that, and you'll see why. That's a flathead screwdriver, and we're going to see why in a minute. But it has many, many, many uh, little items, uh, O-rings and so on and so forth, plus four grub screws, which I'll talk about a bit later. But for me, the most important aspect in this bag is this pin right here. And what that is, uh, it's hard to see in there, but it's a bottom feed pin. Uh, we're going to take a minute after you see the build deck, and I'm going to be removing um, the 510 pin that's in here and putting in the bottom feeder, uh, for, which is why I bought this particular RDA. Here you have the build deck, and um, it's all uh, gold color, gold plated. And you do have a... First of all, they are just flathead screws. And um, I mentioned that in the package, there's a grub screw. So if you want to take these out and put in some grub screws, you could do that. A lot of people don't like the flatheads. Um, you can see the well is not bad at all. It's quite deep. And for what we're going to use it for, what I'm going to use it for, rather, um, that really won't come into play that much, but it'll be helpful. Uh, you'll notice here on each end of it uh, at the the, the uh, build deck right here there's a hole and what that's for is you're going to have a positive pos I'm sorry positive negative positive negative and uh, the leads from the coil one will be trapped in that hole and then the other will be actually trapped underneath in here so on each side of that so 
Um, I don't do this very often, but when I put the build in, I will do it on camera so you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we see there's that 510 pin I was talking about. And uh, now I'm going to switch it out for the... Um, I can use a blue handle screwdriver. I'm sorry, I'm going to switch it out for the... Uh, for the squonking pin or the bottom feeder. So you just unscrew the 510 carefully. And uh, when you do that, you see something that's um, like an insulator right there. I don't know if you can pick it up, but there is an insulator. And then there is a secondary, see this, this screw head here, that holds in the negative. And then there is a screw head in here that holds in the positive. So you have to really be careful. You want to wind that perfectly. And then, you start removing that and the, the positive now has just fallen off that's removed then your squonk pin which it has a wee little hole in it so that the bottom air or the bottom juice flow will fall out you reposition it's a lot easier than, than it looks actually so let's just get this in. There you go. The deck is put back together. And now it's got the squonking pin in. It was quite easy. Now we're going to take a look at... Um, we're going to put a, a build in here later. Don't worry. And now we're going to be looking at a, a, another item time. I wanted to show you this. Now, as I unscrew, and again, these are flat heads. The other ones are Phillips heads, so a lot of people will, will like that more. But as I unscrew this, the opening that's here starts to come out. As I unscrew the other, there's a plate down here that shifts down. I do both sides. And there's a, a lot of area to put in your different coils. So now um, I'll put in a coil and we'll take a look. Okay, so I have a dual build installed. Um, it is 28 gauge. It comes out to 30 watts. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 ohms. You want to make sure that you get that glow from outside. I'm sorry, from inside to outside. So both are doing that um what i did and when i before i put the build in i took the the top cap and i just did a slight measurement to make sure that the coils will be approximately uh at the height of the airflow uh holes that are there so let's get some uh, wick in here and uh, talk a bit more about how this is going to be a bit different from any other rda i've ever used given that this is the first time that i'm going to be using this particular RDA and this, the concept of a bottom feeder, um, I'm not 100% sure about how much cotton I should be using. I don't want it to be tight because I want the cotton, uh, I'm sorry, I want the juice to be able to flow up the cotton easily. Um, that just seems logical uh, from a physics standpoint. If it's too tight, it might just jam and then you start getting dry hits. Uh, that's never fun. And, um, so this is the, the cotton I'm using is cotton bacon, and I get this from one of my favorite shops to go to when I'm in Toronto, uh, the Vape Shore, uh, Wes and Holly and the gang, Mom, I should mention Mom, uh, and the gang there. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of wicking it in a, in a looser tone, if you will. Um, I, again, this is more of an experiment than anything and I usually wrap it really tight this seems really fluffy so we're going to see how this all works out and because it has to in order for the bottom feeding aspect to work it has to hit at the bottom of the of the uh, of the tank or of the RDA uh, the drip well it, or the juice well it has to get in there uh, so now we have it in now you might be wondering why I'm doing this on the Revenger. Well, I'm doing it on the Revenger 
uh, because that way I can measure, I do not, and I cannot find uh, my ohm reader in order to build. So I usually build on a mod, which is not at all recommended. Uh, so we got that going now. So it's, it's, it's in there, it's coiled, it's wicked. Um, I'm using one of my favorite juices from uh, Economy eSigs, uh, which is, whoops, where are we? Attitude Adjustment, uh, the Root Boy Juice Line. Now I'm going to move this out. I'm going to take that off because I don't want, don't forget, folks, it's got a hole in it, right? Remember, if we look at that, the, the, the connector is the bottom feeding pin, so it's got a hole in it. The reason for that is that the juice is going to flow up this, and feed the wicks, but not entirely. You got to start off. So let's switch gears, and we're going to get into talking about the machine and how I get this thing going. Okay, so the, the now we're going to talk about the mod. This is the Vandy Vape Pulse Bottom Feeder and a Tony B project. Tony B is a well-known, well-respected, real YouTuber, and Mike Moore. Um, he actually has a good following. Um, he helped design the mod and put in the best and the worst. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the, the device in, in, you know, in detail. Um, on the box, it has some slight details up here uh, about the mod. And then down below, it just talks about uh, what's included. And uh, that's really all about the box inside it. Now you'll notice, obviously, the... The mod is not there. You get a pretty good instruction booklet and this little baggie. The little baggie has a screw. I'm sorry, let's see. A screw and a spring and a tube, a middle tube. And what that's for, um, well, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to bring down the mod. I've been using it, um, so it's not right out of the box. And uh, let me bring it down and we'll talk about it. Okay, so obviously I've been using it for, for a bit, and I just wanted to show you the innards of it. Uh, this PC I did not mention, and I apologize for that. It's a it's a, an adapter, because this mod can take an 18650 or a 2700 battery. Um, so obviously I have the 18650. The, the adapter goes on the negative end of it, and you have negative up here, positive on the bottom. If I push out the battery, you'll see inside that the there's the positive symbol and up here trust me it is the negative symbol um also that's what's in here is the the bottle which holds the e-juice and then there's an on off switch and the on off switch you just lift that up and what that does is it's really the only safety feature that this mod has it will cut the current so if your battery was in it you want to put it in your pocket you lift that switch it shuts off the current so it will not fire in your pocket uh, the baggie I mentioned earlier that had the, the screw and the spring, it's for that switch. If it should wear off, you're going to be able to change the spring. You can change the screw. Uh, and that tube is the tube that runs from the bottle up into the, uh, the, 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 the um, 510 connection, if you will, for the RDA. Uh, so if that needs to be replaced, they give you an extra one as well. And then this is the uh, mechanics for the firing switch. If I turn it around, you see the uh, the connection, which is here. It's not hidden in any way. And you'll see it's very, very mechanical. You also might notice the three dots. Those are the magnets. And one of the things about this little mod that amazes me is how well these uh, panels actually stay on. It really is well done. Um, and it's my understanding that there will be other colors. So, you, you know, you get one color, but they might have the fancier ones with the skulls and the things all the kids like. Uh, and then, so you turn around, and now I'll put in the battery, and we'll go upstairs and vape a bit with it. Okay, not exactly a flattering angle, but now um, I've removed the battery. But notice um, I have the RDA on it, because you have to remember that if I put any pressure on this, the juice is going to flow. I'd rather have the juice flow right into the RDA. Um, I simply take the bottle. This is where a tripod will come really handy. And I feed it onto the pin. And that's the pin that's down here. Whoops. The pin that's right there. Because that's what connects to the RDA. So I slide that into the tube. And I'm only holding the metal part of the bottle. I never touch the plastic part of the bottle. And it's in. 
Um, hopefully now I'll be able to show you. Now let's see. I'll, I'll move some of this cotton. And again, you saw I, I, it's a very loose, very loose cotton. But let's see if I can get that on there. And when I push the bottle, there's the juice popping out that hole. That hole is right in there. That's where the hole is. So that's the juice that comes out. And that's what feeds the squonk. So let's go up top, get the battery in, and get it going. Okay, so we're not just up top. We're up top a week later. And uh, I want to give it a good whirl um, to see if I'm going to enjoy it. And I'll tell you what. I like it. Uh, which brings me to the reason why I did all of this. Um, some years ago, I talked about what's next. I had the Ego Spinner like so many people had. And then I got into all these Anokin products. I did videos on nearly all of them. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, I was sort of at a point that's like, okay, I, I could just go. I mean, I have my Cleto 120, which I love. And I've got on my Revenger all the time. And then I have the Troll, which I alternate between a Triad and the I Joy, a Triad, Las Vegas Triad. And the iJoy Captain, which I just did a video on. And that's great because they're three battery mods, so they last a long time. The problem is, is that it's slightly impractical. It's, it's, you know, walking down the street, and if it's a longish walk, like my walk to work, I gotta always have a bottle of juice going in. And I thought, there's gotta be a, a better way to do this. And of course, driving is just not something I would recommend dripping and driving, as they say. So I was looking for, for something else, and this sort of crossed both paths. So what we have here, when we look at a squonker, we have this plastic bottle that the juice goes into. That sort of acts like a tank, okay, like a like a, a clearmizer. So you put all your juice in there, and then you have up top, you have a dripper, and all you do is give that a squeeze, and all that juice starts to flow up to the dripper, so it takes away the need to carry all those bottles. Now, yes, you're going to have to fill it, but it will hold uh, up to 8 milliliters of juice, which... Is, is a good amount um but the trade-off to that is now you got to carry batteries okay so it, it's one half a dozen of another but i'd rather have to carry batteries in bottles and bottles of juice when we look at the two pieces of hardware we break it down we have the bandy vape um bonza and this was designed by the vape bogan mate the fucking thing's good i don't feel australian uh, but a great job. The thing I like about it, it's, it's dual purpose. So you can use it just as a regular dripper. It's got a generous juice well. It comes with the 510 uh, pin installed. It's got dual airflow. And it's adjustable. So you want to do a single coil build? Do a single coil build. You're fine. Just shut the airflow off on the opposite side. Um, so there's a lot of good things about it. It's got a velocity-esque deck. And the, the flavor I'm getting from it, the airflow, everything is really good. The only thing I don't like about it is this gold ring. I wish they would have just kept that black and let it just morph into the blackness of the mod that, it, that it's on. Because generally that's the color that the mods are. Or at the very least, stainless steel. So it goes in with, let's say, the, button, the, the fire button on this mod. But hey, that's just me. Uh, so overall, really great job by Bandy Vapes on that. Then it's sitting on top of the Bandy Vape Pulse, which is a Tony B project. Oh, she's YouTuber getting things named after them or helping design it but uh, it's a great job by Tony um, it's small it's petite it has a bit of weight even though it's all plastic the rounded corners are nice uh, they don't dig into your hand like so many box mods may it's got a nice switch right there and uh, it's got a nice spring to it nice magnets on both doors there is no rattle. Now, keep in mind, folks, that's even with an 18650. And here, I use the, right there, I use the um, adapter for the 18650. I got my 2700s charging. So you put that in, and it's negative side up. So that slides onto the negative side in your battery, and you're good to go. But we have to talk about the elephant in the room.
There is an elephant in the room. It is a mechanical mod. Again, some years ago I talked about tube mods, which was all the rage, rage back then. And talked about how it doesn't, it doesn't differentiate between what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Uh, this is no different. I said then it's just a tube. This is just a box. The only safety feature that this has is right there. It's a switch that will disconnect the battery and the power switch. So by lifting this up, it won't fire. So regardless of what I do, I push the fire button. It's not going to do anything. When I put that back down, now it works. That's it. And the reason why that's there, as far as I can tell, is so you can put it in your pocket. So you lift that switch up, don't forget, and let it go in your pocket, and you're good to go. But you have to understand battery safety. You have a torn wrap, don't use the battery. Rewrap it, have somebody rewrap it, or just change it out. Okay? You're putting a build in. If your battery, if there's something on your battery, this doesn't give a damn. You hit the button, it'll do what you tell it to. And then people get all upset, and it ends up on YouTube and the news channels, how a mod went ka kablooey in some kid's pocket. No, it's because the kid didn't do something right. This is just a box. Now, that's not to, to scare you off, because... If you're if, if you're getting into mechanical mods or if you're getting into squonking like like I am, um, you're going to understand battery safety and you're going to understand the limits of the battery, the limits of the build. You want to make sure everything is done properly. So um, that's it. It's just to, just to keep that in mind. And this this mod, this beautiful little mod, forty bucks at Economy E6. Go take a look. The website's down below. I go there for juice. I've been looking at this for months and finally pull the trigger. I think it's a really good deal. And again, because I've been doing this for a while, I understand battery safety. If you, you know, when I make a video, it's more for people like me, like, like this. I don't want all the, I, you know, the technical jargon, all that. Be safe, okay, be safe. That's my technical jargon. Do I like it? Yes, as a setup, it's great. And I didn't know Randy Bates made both pieces when I ordered them separately. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that's it. Squonking was my next step. I'm enjoying it. It allows me to do dripping for a period of time rather than just always trying to fill it in. And you get a proper box, something like that, carry a couple extra batteries, you're good to go. Okay, so that's it. That is squonking, vaping newbie style. I hope you enjoyed it and you know. You know, I love having you over. So please, please stay healthy and happy vaping. Take care, folks.